And thanks to the, the several legislators and the members of the state school board uh, that are in the audience today and many others, Georgia has broken down the barriers to innovation and in education. Uh, many times in, in nearly any kind of area, there are antiquated rules and laws and regulations that fit the old way of doing things but create a barrier and protect, frankly, entrenched interests. And you've got to knock those down. It's not easy to do. And Georgia has done that. And we're one of the leaders uh, in creating a fertile soil for these innovations to happen in education. The part that we have to do now is implementation. Uh, the second thing I'm excited about is what the Department of Education has done over the last few years. Uh, we at the Georgia Public Policy Foundation have complained for many, many years that we were wasting resources in trying to put in, in technology and education. Uh, I know Governor ba going back to Governor Barnes and, and many others have been frustrated with our inability to even know where our students were, where our money was being spent. But very happy to say that um, Bob Swigum, who is the, ch the Chief Information Officer for the State of Georgia, he's here today, Bob, raise your hand. Through his leadership, he came from the private sector from Georgia Pacific and do has done an incredible job at modernizing our technology infrastructure. And this fall, we're going to be putting, pushing out resources to our teachers and parents and students all throughout the state of Georgia that are going to be unbelievable resources to really, I think, allowing us to make a quantum leap in education for not only our gifted students and our remedial students, but everyone. A personalized education for every student is going to be able to be a reality. And so what we're trying to do is to say, all right, where are good examples of how this is being implemented? So our teachers and parents and students can, can, can see what's possible when we implement all these tools and, and opportunities. We brought in Rick Ogston, Carpe Diem Schools, last year to talk about what he was doing at the middle school and high school level. And today, we're, we're very fortunate to have Sajan George, who started his own nonprofit and is focusing on the elementary level schools. What they're doing is blended learning, taking the best of technology and the best of what our wonderful teachers have to offer and ma maximizing that potential as you personalize education for every child. And that is a very powerful combination. And Sajan's going to tell you a lot about that. Sajan's got a great history. He has been a part of, he was in the private sector and has been a part of some really amazing education reform efforts all over the country, which he'll tell you about. And then that sparked a passion within him. He said, you know, I really want to do this for a living. And he started a nonprofit. And he's been recently been working up in Detroit. I think he might be opening schools in some other cities. Well, what the frustrating, the good and the bad news is, you know, he's not from Michigan. He doesn't live in California like Michael Horn. He lives in Alpharetta, Georgia. So I'm really happy that we can take someone who is a native Georgian and lives here in Georgia and uh, put them, let them tell you about the innovative things that are going on in education and keep in mind that we can do this very quickly. So please join me in welcoming Sajan George. 